Mark it. 73. Ready, Tom? Mark it. 74. Okay. Picture roll two. Picture roll three starts here. Good. It's the end of this sound roll. Seven seven. Number will be 78. Well, I'm interested in your new act. Well, I'll tell you about it. Uh, I had this made about three years ago. And uh, the reason why I did was because, uh, uh, you know, I'm an electric guitar player, but I also play classical a little bit. I know that, yeah. And, uh, so I got into practicing on the classical guitar. So I practiced on it all the time. And then when I would switch, 
So the electric, I would feel uncomfortable because it was two different necks. Right, yeah. You know, like yeah. two different necks. Right. So I just, the, you know, I decided to try and get the same neck on both instruments. Right. So that I always felt like I was playing the same instrument. Sure, not jumping from one to another. Not jumping yeah. from one to another. Yeah. And yeah. so it opened up a whole new thing for me because yeah. I had them, I had them made the neck a little bit longer. Yeah. A little bit longer so that it's harder to play here. It's like a longer uh -huh. stretch. Yeah. But when I get up here, you know, when I get up there, it, yeah. it, it feels more comfortable because, like, really what I want to do is play in C, but I want to play here. Yeah. But I want to get a 6-9 chord. Uh-huh. I want to yeah. get a 6-9 chord, so I get it up there, and then I get right. it up here. Right, yeah. Then I got my scale. Uh -huh. Yeah. And I've got the room I need. Mm -hmm. And I lie G13s yeah. instead of here yeah. or there. I'd like to hear. Frankly, I've never been able to figure yeah. out what uh, what it was. What you were doing. And that last stuff was uh, wild. Yeah. I think more coming. Yeah, the chord, you know. Uh, yeah, sort of, sort of. Yes, yeah. the chord ring and then play the idea. So what I had to do was get this, get it up high. Right. So I brought it up yeah. here first. Right. A G. Yeah. Then I bring it up here. Right. G. Uh -huh. Then I can, and yeah. then I've got an octave. You know, you got a hell of a lot of guys doing that now. It's starting I'll to happen. It's right. starting to happen. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but they're not telling me where they're getting it. <laughs> <laughs> <But> I know. <laughs> so that's what, like, right. like, that was the whole thing, was to try and yeah. get that room. So yeah. I had to have it made longer. Uh -huh. Also, uh, you know, the longer the string, the longer it rings. Right. Uh, based, on, uh, based on the sitar. Yeah. And if it's a real long string, it seems to ring longer. Well, that's, yeah, that's like the principle behind a 12-foot grand piano, right? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, so that's that's basically what it is. Yeah. But now I'm thinking of going to a seven string. Um, so I so now I have that. to go down, so now I have to shorten the neck again. Yeah. Right. And maybe use heavier strings on the bottom mm -hmm. and lighter strings on top. Yeah, so well, that you I get a lighter string in order, in order to go up to, uh, to a, an A. To an A. Yeah. I was thinking of a number six. Yeah. This is number 10. So if I get a number uh -huh. 6, I might be able to get it up to here. Uh, number 6E. Right e. uh, yeah, number 6E. What is that? E yeah, you want about a 9 or something? Or? Well, this is a 10 here. Yeah. What? So if I use an 8 or like a 6, I should be able to get up to high A. Yeah. You know, especially if I shorten the neck. And oh, yeah, you shorten the neck. And yeah, I shorten the neck, and then I'd be going uh, to a shorter scale. Yeah. Which, which would make it easier for reaching for me. Yeah. Plus, I'd have the range I want. You know, I'd be able to play yeah. and have D on, you know, right there. I'd have to have this note here. Yeah, right. Yeah. You know, C would be, C would be there instead of here. Yeah. So it gives me this and this together. Yeah. You know, I can still, I, I still do that. Right. Um. You know, instead of doing that, yeah. I get that there somewhere. Uh-huh. Yeah. Were, the, the, you sort of, I use the heaviest, uh, Jim Hall, Jim Hall said I got this cable off the Brooklyn Bridge on my guitar. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, it's heavy gaze. Well, I don't know if they're heavy gaze, or, yeah. but I think they're heavier than most guys. Yeah. Think, you know? But I, uh, one reason that I, my, Sloppy fingering, I tend to push them out of tune if they're light, you know. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so. I've had that problem too, you know. I, uh, you know, for what I'm trying to do, uh, over the years I've tried to develop a, a real light touch yeah. here because uh, I'm picking with these fingers. Yeah. So I try and use a light touch, and the only way I can do it is let the amp do yeah. the work. Yeah. If I if I had to do it acoustically. You can hardly hear me. I'd have to have a mic right, right there. Right, right. But with the what with the right amp, and I turn it up and pick soft, yeah. then I can usually get that sound like a piano uh, like player gets uh, when he presses the pedal down. Yeah. And you get it all sustaining. Right. And like you press a soft, uh, you know, pedal, and you can yeah. get that real sustained sound. But it's but it's still soft. So so I pick about this loud. Oh yeah. <laughs> you can't even yeah. hear this. Right. But with the amp, I just jack sure. it up. You know, I put it on yeah. number six and just go. Yeah. And you, but and it you comes out no, like that. You got no feedback problems with that 
but, but no feedback uh, problems. Yeah. You see, like it doesn't feed back, and when it does, I use it. Yeah. You know, if it does start to feed back, it usually does in the low notes. Yeah. So I let the low note ring. Yeah. I let the low note ring and play against it. Yeah. I yeah. let it ring a little yeah. bit, you know, but not too much, but just enough. You know? Yeah. Some people think that that's the new thing that using the feedback intentionally, you know. Yeah. It ain't. <laughs> no, it ain't that new. It yeah. ain't that new. Yeah. I was into it a long time ago. Yeah. Uh, when Jimi Hendrix came in, he really used it. Yeah. You know, that uh -huh. was his whole trip, feedback. Right. Without the feedback, <laughs> I don't know, I think if Jimi had played on that. You've got uh, a lot of wild in between here. No numbers really on the slates, just the consecutive slates and a lot of wild track. We're going to cut now for a minute. It's the end of this sound rule. This is sound rule 15. When I'm playing standing up, I feel more like a horn player. I was good. For some reason, I feel more like... I expected you to say that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, like, I stand up, and when I'm playing, I want a piano with me. Yeah. If I don't have a piano, I'll sit down. Because then i got to play chords, and to play chords standing up is... Yeah. It's it's harder. Right. You know, it's a lot harder to play than chords. So, like, playing standing up, I can't concentrate as much. So I I tend to, uh, like, stick to single note lines. Yeah. Like standing up, and that feels good because I feel more like a horn. Yeah. But when I'm sitting down, I feel more like a guitar player. Yeah. yeah. So I have those two different bags that I use. Once in a while, I'll stand up. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. Setting down, it's more complete for me because it's because I'm more relaxed. I don't yeah. have to worry about my weight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just worry about the weight of the uh, guitar. Yeah. But uh, well, I think the I always. The reason I built built that uh, device that I sit on there and why did you have your amp on the chair built in the chair? Uh, originally, I had the amp inside there, you know. Yeah. And then uh, I took the amp out and I and I fooled around with uh, with a frequency divider, you know. Mm -hmm. And oh, this is about no, over twelve, one, two, five, about uh, thirteen or fourteen years ago. You know? I, I heard, uh, you know, Eddie Harris, the tenor man, mm -hmm. he was the first, uh, first I heard of, you know, electronic frequency dividing, mm -hmm. with a tenor sax, you know, and it, mm -hmm. well, it was like two instruments playing, you know, mm -hmm. like, uh, and I've always played like in trios, and I figured, well, anything you can add for variety is, uh, mm -hmm. you know, something else, so. Uh, I haven't well, heard you use that yet. Well, I don't think uh, so, anyway. Yeah. Well, it's just, uh, just, um. I haven't improved on the first one I made. I mean, I haven't nowadays that you can buy them, you know. Mm -hmm. but, uh, um, I, I first, my, my first idea was, you know, just to have it come out an octave, you know, mm -hmm. a lazy West Montgomery. <laughs> <But> <laughs> That's uh, always been one of my hardest things, is to play octaves. Yeah. I cannot play octaves and do it real smooth. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I can't yeah. play a line. Yeah. I, I I can't keep it going. Yeah. Well, you, you know? play that way. You play cross. I mean, more. You know, I think the guys that do that sort of, you know, play uh, up and down the, that kind mm -hmm. of thing. Think of, you know. Like, yeah. But, uh, I I can't do it very well either. Yeah, but I find it very hard to do. It's it's kind you know it's kind of a thing you have to specialize in almost you know to to really get it yeah. down. But that's when you know been one of my weakest points is to try and play octaves because yeah. I just can't seem to do what I want to do and move yeah. at the same time. Well, you're probably impatient. It doesn't go fast enough, huh? No, it's, well, it's uh, very hard. It's, yes, it's, my... it's one of the hardest things, and that's what I admire about Wes. Yeah. Is that he had yeah. that down. Right. That was one of his he strongest sure points. Sure. He yeah, did well, it the he... best of anybody, I yeah. think. Yeah, he sure did. And Django didn't yeah, do too bad did. either. Right. <laughs> well, he's, that, that was who was that was playing. Yeah. And then you know at the same time, so I get. Yeah, and you hear them both, and then, and then and then I can do my chord trip, you know. <coughs> Let's see. <laughs> you know, something like that, but I can't cut it that easy. I have to yeah. really, you know, co like concentrate on it. Yeah. But the, like playing octaves, like to me, takes an awful lot of energy, and you know, it takes a lot of energy to move around like that. Yeah, I think that's and uh, 
It's just one of the things I haven't really worked on yeah. that much. Yeah. Well, <laughs> kind of. Well, here. <laughs> hey, who's this? <laughs> I'm interested in seeing uh, your guitar, Lenny. Well, I, I had this guitar made in uh, in Nashville, Tennessee, and I had it patterned after a, a classical guitar. And it's got that Great. same neck. It's got that same neck yeah. as a classical instrument. Yeah. 82 long run shot. Yeah, it ain't really a mystery. It's actually very simple. Just the harmonics. You know, adding yeah. the harmonics to what I do just sort of explains it. Yeah. Uh, well, it... Uh, See, uh, this is the, tr the, the, the why that's not going to catch on on the big layout. That was not a U2, it was a wild track. Uh, we're going to continue with more wild track. After 10 or 15 years, it's, it's starting to get easy. Yeah, yeah. But, but it still ain't. have a unique way. I, um, for, for us, yeah. that's pretty much out of sight. Yeah. Like one, yeah. two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and playing something on top of it right. without stopping it. So that was my first introduction to keeping this going and doing something there, mm -hmm. which was kind of straight, you know, one, yeah. two, three, four. But it was my first introduction to keeping something going yeah. at the same time as playing a melody or something. Yeah, you know. two things going into Yeah, it makes a lot of sense because like the force is only one finger. Right. Yeah. It's only one finger, so you got that you left. Got you got that left. Yeah. Sure. And that can sustain. So yeah. I figured, well, maybe there is some way I can approach it yeah. where uh, I could make it more yeah. like an orchestra or something. You know? Yeah. You work uh, with a trio or what? Yeah, usually bass and drums. Yeah. Usually bass and drums. Sometimes with just bass. That's really intimate. I like that. Yeah. With just bass. If, if right. it's the right room. Right room. Yeah, if, it's, right if it's room. quiet, this, you know. My place really over quiet. here is not that way. Yeah. I, I have to have drums. So I, see, most of the most of the time, you know, I, I, I start out with that horn, horn uh, uh, desire to play like a horn, you know, uh -huh. play like the, man, the Charlie Christian thing, you know. Uh -huh. Yeah, I know exactly play what you that, mean. Uh, and, see, and, uh, when, I, when I heard that, electric guitar was a, a real novelty. You know? I mean, they had uh, electrified the uh, the steel guitar, you know, because, uh, you know, was... Did, did that come it, out first, the, the electric yeah, steel? Yeah. It did, eh? Yeah, because it was, uh, it was an easier instrument to get all that. The old magnets were heavy, you know. That was not these uh, new ones, you know, with Cobalt or Al Nico, whatever it is. The old ones were heavy, and mm -hmm. and they made uh, pickups. Uh, first ones were put into uh, well, and also that uh, uh, I suppose they didn't worry too much about the acoustic part. The first electric Spanish guitar, they tried to retain the acoustic. Too, that's right. See, that's right. You were trying to get both both yeah, qualities right. at the same time. Yeah. That's, uh, now, uh, now everybody knows if you've got a good acoustic guitar, it's a terrible electric guitar, and vice versa, right? That's right. So you it's know? either one or the other. Yeah, sure. But, uh, but like I say, I, I not, then I started playing along those lines, thinking horn lines and things, mm -hmm. and then uh, to what livability I had to get into chords. Uh, yeah, I, I had listened to Tatum, you know, and uh, of course uh, most of the stuff that uh, what he do you does. What do you mean, livability? Uh, now that uh, you know, it's, it's it's pretty well established that the amplifier is here to stay. I think you know, 
Uh, Unless we, electricity we get, goes out. Yeah. Unless we run out of uh, electricity, then yeah. what do we do? Oh, That's why I'm so glad that I do that. We're on the three-mile island circuit <laughs> here. You know? That's why I'm so glad I'm into acoustics. That yeah. was 82. Yeah. I love the acoustic instruments. Yeah, it love was it. a tail slate. Yeah. Yeah. If, if you get into a big situation, you're in trouble a little yeah. bit because you can't get that tone to get to everybody. Sure. If you got a good mic, you're all set. Yeah. If you got an extremely good instrument, you're all right. Yeah. You know, but even then, I don't know. Uh, I still rely on acoustic instruments because I think they were the first. I think the first ones were the best. Yeah. Well, you know, for some reason, I think the old guitars are the best guitars. Yeah. Uh, but Lenny, what, what, were you tell, what were you telling Phil about? Yeah. Go back a little bit if you could. I think eight three. Yeah. It's going to be well, a okay. I'll, I'll, okay. I'll Please. expand on that. I'll expand on that. All right. Shot there first. <laughs> Yeah. You ready? Okay. Uh, okay. But there were sounds like... Uh, you know, there were sounds yeah. like that. Yeah, well... Yeah. You know... <laughs> Yeah, well, with the G yeah, down there or something, known, you know. Known to do that you know. Also, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think you did them first. Or not not harmonic, you know. Just take, take a note up there and put yeah, it up there. Yeah, eh? yeah. Push it down and hold it. <laughs> you want a real wide stretch? You know? yeah. yeah. But uh, you do it with the harmonic. Yeah, I do it with the harmonic. Yeah. It has more yeah. brilliant sound and yeah. Yeah, it sounds, yes, yeah, it sounds tiny. Did you do that with just the thumb or the pig? <laughs> that was an 83 <laughs> slate, if you saw the number. Section 35 on the May picture 04. Yeah, it's a great man. <laughs> That's great, man. <laughs> That's beautiful. 
of all, you can do things going like that. Playing the time, man. That's great. Here you go. Okay, the end of that was wild. The picture roll ran out. Uh, I'm not sure whether we had a heads late on that one or not, but the last, last part of it was well. Picture roll five starts here. If you can read this, it'll be uh, sync 86. It's at the head of picture roll number five. Eight six. Eight six. Back a little bit first. I'll give you a Ready, Tom? This is going to make a noise. It's okay. Still rolling? Yeah. yeah. And back in, Sal. Yeah. Ready? Into it. Mm -hmm. See, I can do that with my I just can't keep too, that, really. you know, I can't decide where I want this, so I keep going like that to try yeah. and get it. <laughs> Stand up a second. Is it cut? Yeah. This will be 87. I'm rolling. 87. Sal? Just back for a second. And mark, please.
NJPTV, production 33, Tal Farlow, sound roll number 18. This is a uh, wide shot panning from the boat to the, uh, whatchamacallit, where they are, porch. Okay, that was Wild Track, and it was to cover the uh, sort of longish shots which showed the boat in the water and all that. It was, uh, well, done at the same time, but call it Wild Track. If this wasn't slated, which I don't think it was, it's NJPTV, production 33, Tal Farlow, sound roll MAT. This is the bridge uh, opening, and then a pan over. about halfway through on picture roll number eight. This is the sign of the times on the 21st of May, 1980. This will be the session with Lenny Bro. Um, there will be a B camera operating, but no uh, sync information on it, we're told. 124. Second beep.
second deep, it was 125. while just a little noodling with uh, Letty Bro and uh, Intel. This is now sound roll S9, stereo 9, Tel Farlow and uh, Lenny Bro at the Santa Times.
Picture all nine sink all the way, ran out, started wild. Picture all nine sink all the way, ran out, started wild.
27, beeping coming up. Bingo. Second six.
camera stopped in the middle. Uh,